unless the Democrats get the Senate, then it's it's on and popping. You will get you get a stimulus check. You get a stimulus check. You get a stimulus check. Yeah, they, 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 that, that's going to happen. Good after. Well, good day. We're going to talk about the new YouTube pimp stimulus check updates. It has gotten crazy. Now, this isn't a knock against the CPAs and the tax people because the stimulus checks are based upon tax information. So it makes sense for these guys to be talking about it. And really, the videos that the CPAs and the tax guys put out are radically different than the stimulus check videos that other dudes put out. It's kind of funny. But this is the new YouTube pimp. And I decided not to participate into it because, for one, I honestly don't think that they're going to cut another check unless they're forced to it, unless there is a fire under their butts. Also, this video was brought to you by Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills. Be sure to enroll in 30 days to 2500. We're having a 30 days to 2500 challenge in a Facebook group where you can commingle and talk to your fellow 30 days to 2,500 participants as we challenge you to make more money. Also get the hustlers pimping your, the hustlers mindset, pimping your mind for success. Also get that course too. All right. So let's just dive into this. There are, there are some notable people in the stimulus check update world. The front runner is Clearview taxes and he is hilarious. His manner when he's just like gets exasperated, it, it's just he's like a new YouTube star. But also from a standpoint, he puts out functional and relevant information. He doesn't do this clickbait stuff that Meet Kevin does. And apparently Clearview and Meet Kevin are duking it out because Meet Kevin, who is a nasty little man, he's a petty feminine little man because he literally built his YouTube channel after going after Grant Cardone. So it, it's not a surprise to anyone who knows how Meet Kevin gets down that he would be going after Clearview because that's how he built his YouTube channel. But this is what's really interesting. Meet Kevin, I think, has like 600 some thousand subscribers. Clearview has 500,000. and He literally got him in two months. And more than likely, he's going to eclipse Meet Kevin. And that could be a problem for the petty little man. But I've seen so many people have jumped on the stimulus check train and they're and essentially for about for five or six weeks it was just people regurgitating uh there was a guy morris invest he's a he's a former news reporter so the way that he does it is a little different and he's starting to get some traction from the stimulus check but i'm seeing people start to, to duke it out on these digital streets they're going after each other it's hilarious because for me, one of the reasons that I did not go to the stimulus check update thing is it goes against my personal philosophy. If you've been watching the channel, you know that I predicted that folks were going to clown because when I read in the CARES Act that people were going to get an additional $600 on top of their state unemployment money, they're like, these folks ain't going back to work. And it's been proven. People send me articles and everything. It's like, you know, business owners like, hey, I got the PPP loan. Let's come back to work. I can pay you. Nah, man. Me speak no English. Click. These folks ain't going back to work. Luxuries once tasted become necessities. It's like, you can make more money sitting at home doing nothing than going to work. What you going to do? Sit at home and make that money. And, you know, it, it, it's gotten really crazy because... YouTube has literally had more traffic since this thing has started. My AdSense has gone up three times what it used to be because they're, they're so, you know, essentially you don't have to jump on that trend. Like if you're a CPA or a tax person, that's your purview, but you got all these real estate people. There's a lawyer. There's a guy who has a moving company there that they've just kind of, because, all right, I'm a YouTuber. I've been a YouTuber for a long time. And there is nothing more exciting than seeing one of your videos take off. It's like, wee, you like, oh man. And, you know, here's the thing that's going to happen. At some point, we're going to get past these stimulus check updates. I hope. 
because let me give you my calculus. I predicted on this channel in one of my live streams, I actually told you there wasn't going to be a check weeks ago. And people were like, no, 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 Glenn, they're going to be a check. They're gonna, they have no choice. And then they were like, oh, when Trump and the GOP Senate said it's dead on arrival. And, you know, they're going to talk about it. But whatever they come up with is going to be a far cry from what the Democrats proposed. And I, I have a feeling that they're going to, like, seriously stall this thing out. And they're not going to do it because here's the calculus. Because this is something that no one who does the stimulus check updates actually ever talks about. And it's GDP. We're in danger of having our national debt be higher than our GDP. And they're like, well, Glennon, what's so wrong with that? What's so bad? <clears throat> Enter Japan. Japan has a national debt of 10 trillion. Their GDP is 4.9 trillion. They have had stagnant economic growth for a decade. And if we enter into that, and this is where we're, we're real close, because we may have a national debt that is higher than our GDP right now because of the economic slowdown. And this brings on a lot of bad things. And also the Fed, no one talks about the Fed. The Fed is doing monkey double backflips all over the economy. They're buying corporate debt. They're propping up the stock market. They're, 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 they're going to start lending. They're, the Fed's going to start lending businesses money. They're doing everything they can. And the head of the Fed, Jerome Powell, said, we still need more. Here's the thing. And there, you know, I did a video about there will be no V-shaped recovery. That's just a fantasy. Everybody who is an astute business person or policymaker or knows the financial markets very well, they're all saying the same thing. Warren Buffett's sitting on 130 billion cash. He, he's in no hurry to move this money into the market. Why? He sold this airline stock. The CEO of Boeing said they fully expect airlines to be impacted for three years. And also, one of the things I did, and this was an accident, I put in stimulus check. There are YouTube groups for stimulus check updates that have 200,000 members. They're all pretty big. And th these groups just got formed a few weeks ago. So what does this say about this fascination, this preoccupation with the stimulus check update videos? America's broken. America is broken and broke. And people are looking for help. And I'm, I'm going to speak to you, America. I want to do I want to get my Bernie Mac on America. You're going to have to do better. There is no Superman. There is no Spider-Man. There is no Thor. There's no Justice League. There's no Fantastic Four. There is no X-Men. No one is coming to save you. No one. And what you're going to get from the government is going to be a dollar short, a day late and insufficient. That's what's going to happen. This is where you're going to be. I urge you to sit down. If you're married, sit down with your wife and have a conversation on what you and your, your bae going to do. You need to become productive. I know it's about to be summertime. The beach is calling. It's warm outside. You up north New York, you want to get outside. You want to let the sun beam down on your skin. You want to get out because you've been trapped up in your house. I understand. However, your money problems, just because you want to take a moment to relax, are not going to disappear. Hence this preoccupation with all this stimulus talk. Because I didn't understand because not to be elitist, you may call me elitist. I'm not the average American person. I have several years of cash money in the bank I could live off. So I'm not like panicking. I'm not worried. And I know that I'm a typical. My situation is a typical It's abnormal. It is not the norm because the things I teach, I practice what I teach. I practice that stuff. This is how I know it works. I'm not going to tell you to do something that I haven't done or I haven't vetted. So listen up, America. For those of you who are still working, 
you need to stop contributing to the stock market. I know that's just crazy. It's like, it's cheap. It's so cheap. We can get in, we can make our money. No, no, stop contributing to the stock market. Stop contributing to your 401k and get your cash position up. If you're in the, because see, here's the thing. There are many people who were not in the position to prepare. This thing came so fast and furious and they got caught with their pants down. They had no money, they had no, I mean, right now there are people, and you know, I put this up and some people make fun of this. There are people who are literally gonna go to bed hungry at night. We have homeless people. So that's not unremarkable thing to say that we will have people, husband, wife, Babu, little Jody, they gonna go to bed hungry tonight. And many people are like, well, this is America, this is great, we have food bank. Everybody doesn't have access to a food bank. We, California has half of the nation's homeless people. And that population is starting to explode. America, the courts are going to open up again. With the opening of the states, guess what? They're going to start evictions again. Unless, let me go ahead and give you my calculation on it. Because if the GOP keeps saying, no, we ain't doing no more stimulus. Nope, 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 nope. Then they're going to be voted out of office. That's what I fully expect to happen. Because I, I, I have a new respect for the position of the average American person. I have, I have a new respect for that. Because I've done a little research and I'm like, why are these stimulus check videos like crack? I mean, they're, they're just telling you about proposals. They're not really telling you anything new. And hope, these stimulus check videos give you hope for people who need hope, for people who are in a bad situation. I totally get it. I totally get it. I understand that. America, I understand you. I understood parts of you before this happened, but now I'm dialed in to where you really are. I get it. You need that hope. When someone fancy comes on and speaks in a certain manner, and they're like, yeah, they're going to they're gonna cut us a check. I get it in my comments. It's like, Glendon, you're wrong. They're going to cut us a check. I'm like, no, 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 no. See, one of the things that I do is I bring a comprehensive analytical view that includes all the moving parts because many of these stimulus check videos, no one ever talks about the GDP. No one ever talks about the national debt. No, you know, they don't really talk about it in real terms of what will happen if our GDP is lower than our national debt. That's not good. And they don't talk about it because they don't have the understanding of fiscal policy and monetary policy. And they've not been studying the economy for like 25 years like I have. They have no clue. They can't really get that deep with you because America, I understand, you need money. Baby Babu needs formula. Baby Babu needs diapers. I understand you need money. I get it. But here's the news. The both political parties don't really, because see, the Democrats are floating all of these generous proposals because they want to win the Senate. Now, I will say this, if the Democrats win the Senate, the stimulus packages will be a coming. They will be a coming. You will see some of these generous proposals because they will be able to do it without the president. They will be they will control the House and the Senate and they will be able to run routes around him and Trump may lose. So if we have a Democratic House, a Democratic Senate and a Democratic president, you get a stimulus check. You get a stimulus check. You get a stimulus check. They're, they're going to be stimulus checks. It's going to be rain and stimulus checks. You're going to get them. They're going to come up because even when we get to election time, we're still going to be dealing with this. This is not going to be no V-shaped recovery. That is pure fantasy because I'm giving you this informed opinion based upon the things I've studied. And as a business owner who actually had to make money or go out of business, that was my position in life for many years. Either I made money. If I didn't make money, I went out of business. That's how I was. So I'm coming to you from a very real perspective about the, the element of money and how important it is in these decisions. And all the old dudes, all the old rich dudes, they with me. They're saying the same thing I'm saying. Jerome Powell, uh, Drunken Miller, uh, Warren Buffett, they're all saying the same thing I'm saying. And people are not listening because when Warren sold his airline stocks, 
the personal finance section of YouTube went into a shudder. They was like, whoa, Warren's selling this stock. Why is he selling this stock? He said he wasn't gonna sell it. Warren is almost 90 years old. He know what time it is. He knows that the airline industry is gonna be impacted for many years because of this. The airline is estimated it's gonna take them three years to get back to where they were in 1999. That's why he liquidated his airline holdings, because he knows it's going to be worthless. And if it comes where the airlines have to get a government bailout, stockholders get screwed. Right now, I know America, I, 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 we're we, we right here, America, we're right here. I, I understand you. I understand where you are. And this is why I say the things I say, because when a person gets the truth, they make better decisions. And this is why on my channel, I did not get in, you know, I just said, I'm gonna stay away from the stimulus talk because it goes against the core doctrine of this channel, which is to start a business, to have proper money management, and to make more money. So that was completely foreign to the philosophy of my YouTube channel. So that's why I didn't get into it. And you know, at times I kind of regretted it because it was a velocity builder. I've literally seen channels get to 100,000 subscribers just like that. But I have principles. I have principles. So I'm not gonna do something for a quick buck. I'm not gonna lie to you to sell you a course. I'm gonna tell you the truth. Because I said it before, I'm gonna say it again. If me, if I have to lie to you to sell you a course, then we both are messed up. We're both dysfunctional. I got to lie. You believe the lies. You want to hear the lies. No, I do very well telling people the truth. And I'm going to keep doing that because my refund rate for my courses is very, very low. It's almost non-existent. You know why? Because I don't overhype. I don't tell people fantasies. I don't make stuff up. And I honestly say, if you start a business, you're looking at a two to three year journey. It ain't gonna happen in a few weeks. It ain't gonna happen in a few months. That's real talk, as they say on these internet streets, real talk. But people don't wanna hear that. And this is why so many of you get scammed because you're looking for these fantasies. Oh God, I hope this, this is true. And that's why stimulus check update videos are the new YouTube pimp. You're being pimped. You own the whole stroll for these videos. Because at the end of the day, the only person who's getting any money from these videos is the content creator. You ain't getting any money watching these stimulus check videos. You ain't getting a damn dime. You ain't getting no money. But the content creator, they're getting a lot of money. And that's why you're being pimped. And once again, this isn't directed toward the CPAs, the tax people who are doing what I feel to be a public service. This is for anyone else that's not a CPA that just figured out that if I do a video on YouTube about a stimulus check, I'm gonna get more views. That's who this is directed to. Because I understand, having a YouTube channel take off and grow overnight is an amazing, wonderful thing. You feel good, you know, and I've seen people, I got some people in my video market group is like, oh, your hard work, it ain't nothing about hard work. And hardware had nothing to do with it. It's the topic. This is one of the things that I talk about. It's the topic. It has nothing to do with hard work. So what I want you guys to take from this conversation, because, you know, America, we being real. Look at the political calculations of how likely it is for you to get one of these overly generous proposals. Yes, I said that, overly generous, because, like I said, I talked about it in the live stream that when people were going to get an additional 600, I knew they were going to put the nose on, they were going to put the hair on, they were going to put the makeup on, they were going to put the shoes on, they were going to put the suit on, and they were going to clown. It's like, hey, hey, Ed, this is John from your job. We got money. I'm going to hire you back. Me speak no English. Click. Folks, ain't go folks, folks are not going back to work. Human nature is human nature. But America, we can get through this together. But we're not going to get through this together with you living on hope. It's not going to happen. I'm sorry to inform you that. You know, I'm, I'm, like, I'm speaking to you like you're a two-year-old because I feel I have to come at it that angle because so many of you are filled with hope. So many of you have so many sad stories. So many of you are in a bad, bad position. I understand. I can appreciate your pain. I really can. 
However, just because you're in pain does not give me the license to lie to you and to give you false hope. It's not going to happen. And honestly, if you look at my background, you watch my channel, I used to be homeless at one point. You don't get no more ass out than that. I used to be homeless, had no money, lost my job, wrecked my car. So many, many years ago, I was where many of you are now finding yourselves. And it's a deep, dark, disgusting hole. Except when my crisis happened, the economy was good. Your crisis is happening, the economy is toast. And I want you guys to take heart that you can get through this, but not with your current level of thinking. America, it ain't gonna happen, America. I have a few doctrines. One of my doctrines is to do more principle. If you still have a job, keep your job and start a side hustle on the side while you keep your job. This is what I did. I used to be selling office furniture. I had a job and then I created a side hustle and this elevated my finances. This created me a new paradigm in life. This opened up my eyes to how the world really worked. To do more, you know, because once again, I understand it's about to be summertime. The beach calling, big booty Betty calling, sexy Susan is like all up in your DMs and you want to get your little swimsuit on and get out there on the beach and start politicking and percolating. I get it. But what's going to happen after you get finished politicking and perc percolating on the beach with sexy Susan and big booty Betty? You're going to come home and all your money woes are going to be staring you right in the face. So understand, work hard and also enjoy yourself. Don't be a monk. But this is one of the things I do. Every morning I have a routine. I get up, I work out and then I work and I don't play until I'm finished with my work. Playtime does not happen until Lyndon is finished with his work. And that has served me very, very well very, very well, because the work enables me to enjoy the playtime. Because as I said before, I'm atypical. I'm not like the normal person up here. I practice what I preach, America. I want you to start practicing proper money management, America. So I got a few things for you. I got more than a stimulus check video. I actually have a course, a proven course that will help you make money if you do the work. It ain't going to do it itself. If you do the work, it's 30 days to 2,500 is below. I also have another course to help you strengthen your mindset. It's below. And I also have another course if you have a job. If you don't have a job, you don't have no money. You can't afford this. But it's the money management course will help you optimize your money. It will literally change your financial life. And I come with commentary, but I also come with practical solutions, which is not what you're going to get from watching these stimulus check videos. Hello, my name is such and such. This is your stimulus check update today. Well, they're talking about doing this for you over here in the house. The Democrats have put this wonderful proposal. This guy and this guy, it ain't real. It's smoke in mirrors. You're being pimped. I don't want you to be pimped, America. I want you to be proud. I want you to be confident. I want you to go off into the glory. I want you to be able-bodied. I want you to have money. I want you to make your way. America? I mean, seriously, you're being pimped by these videos. And I, you know, I, I, I was almost tempted like Anacon to the dark side. I was almost tempted because it was like, whew, whew, man, these videos are doing really well. <laughs> All you got to do, and I, I just couldn't, it was unconscionable. I couldn't do it. I just could not fake it because I didn't believe it. I knew that they were going to cut each I knew it. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do it, America. Couldn't do it to you because I have principles. But go ahead, get the free gifts. And if you can afford it, go ahead and get the money management course. It's going to help you optimize your money in a proper way because also check out my other channel, Savage Finance. I give you some really good financial advice that other folks won't even touch on 
because they haven't been through this gauntlet of going through homeless to starting businesses to becoming financially free. They haven't gone through that journey, so they can't tell you the things I'm going to tell you. They can't teach you the things I'm going to teach you. All right, America, it's been nice. Just a word of caution. Stop getting pimped by these stimulus check videos. They're just, just pimping you. That's all they're doing. There is no realness at all. Unless the Democrats get the Senate, then it's, it's on and popping. You will get, you get a stimulus check, you get a stimulus check, you get a stimulus check. Yeah, they, 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 that, that's gonna happen if they win the Senate. And I, I have a feeling based upon the mood of these comments that uh, the GOP is in trouble. <laughs> they are in trouble because people want these stimulus checks and they want them bad. But just be careful out there in these internet streets. Just be careful. There's another video. You should watch it. It's going to be good. It's going to be good for you.